Now, <clears throat> my other plan, uh, I've got to do DMC as well, but I believe I'm going to have to buy the, um, there's the HD remaster pack uh, on Xbox, which I will probably, yeah, because it's the first three games, I believe, but again, uh, huh, i got to download it, so it's no good for now. So, that left me with one other game to do. Um, actually, there's still a few more on the list, but out of all the games that I want to do, that was pretty pretty much the, the three that I really wanted to play. Um, the trouble is, the second game that I wanted to play, I have got it installed on my OG Xbox. <gasps> I've said too much. Or have I? But... The particular installation <laughs> of it on my OG Xbox doesn't work, so I downloaded a new version of it, which is in a different format that I don't know how to transfer onto my original Xbox. <laughs> so I need to do some looking up. Uh, right, let's grab as many of these herbs as we possibly can. Uh, gee, why don't you just buy the game, I hear you saying. Well, well, this might give away what it is. The actual game in question uh, goes for about £150. Yeah, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. So, no. Uh, no, I am not going to give some scalping bastard uh, on eBay £150 for a original Xbox game. I'm going to download that shit on the Xbox, uh, and I'm going to uh, put it on my modded Xbox, because I'm smart. As much as I would like it, actually, uh, an actual physical version of it, very unlikely. Alright, let's keep grabbing these. Lovely. Okay, cool. And it's actually a game that I uh, really, really want to play. So, yes, we shall. And hey, uh, I'm always up for busting out the OG Xbox. Always a good time. There's also a really nice wireless controller on eBay for the uh, original Xbox. It's the Logitech Precision that um, is very highly rated. Um, and that's nearly £200. That's right. Nearly £200 for a controller. And apparently that's been listed and it's been on... Well, I've been watching it for over... Well over a year, maybe a year and a half. So, yeah, good luck selling that. That's a very limited uh, market you're, you're, you're in there. And that's another thing that I don't understand uh, about some of these eBay sellers. Um, you know, any, whatever you have is only worth what anybody's willing to pay for it. Right? It's not the market value, okay? It's what the person with the cash is willing to pay. So... Having something like that on eBay for like, I don't know, two or three years plus, right? Wouldn't it be better to just sell it at a little bit less money, maybe? Maybe significantly less money? And, you know, actually selling it? Unless you've just got a warehouse and you don't really care if stock sells or not. I don't know, it's just a very strange thing. It's like these um, unopened uh, games consoles, because I would like, I'd actually like an unopened Xbox 360 uh, for my collection and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not paying one to two thousand pounds for an Xbox 360 because it's it's never been opened. It's just it's madness, absolute madness. <coughs> Chris, right, Chris. let's go see Becca. You like it? Do I like what? Let's hear it.
Oh, that, that was, was great. great. Yes, it was. That was absolutely fantastic. Well done, Becca. What is that? What is this? What is it, Rebecca? You tell me. Chris, be careful. Yeah, hopefully there's no demons hiding in here. Or eBay sellers, for that matter. Right, there we go. Let's grab you. Wonderbar. Oh, wait. We've been caught by the eBay sellers. We'll now be held at ransom. There's even a nice glass. Almost see-through mylar pouch for us to be displayed with. Uh, but luckily, we have the golden or the wooden ticket to get out of here. Right, let's go. Chris, are you all right? I think so. I might be. I might need your help in a minute, though, Becca. Potentially. Got a feeling that I'm going to bump into a rather large danger noodle. Uh, he's a bit angry as well, so this could get uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, right, I don't know whether to cut this video down or just upload it. Ah, yeah, I'll probably. If we get, if we get past 40 minutes, which by the look of it we will do, I'll cut it down. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Which was silly. For some reason, I was expecting to get a key from there. No, of course. You've got to go back to the tiger room. Which is actually quite nice because we need to go back to uh, an item box anyway. Because, so we might as well go to that one. Just because we're probably going to need some herbage. Just a little bit of green, if you know what I mean. Okay. Let's go see the tiger. And I'm, I'm trying to think. I guess the tiger gives us the key. It must do. Oh, you can see the floating point in precision there. Oh, you can really see it in the tiger's eye. Which, to be fair, is PlayStation 1 accurate. So you can't really moan. But yeah, Duck Station. <laughs> Duck Station is, is vastly superior. In that regard, anyway. Yeah, look at the way the... The eye is just disappearing and warping and going through the actual model of the tiger itself. Which again, I'm not actually knocking this emulator because I'm very happy and impressed with this emulator. Uh, I think it's, you know, really good. So, let's go grab up some herbs. And let's go blast a rather large snake in the face with a shotgun. Now, I know we technically don't have to fight Yawn here, but if we get poisoned, we get something extra. We get a little, a little Easter egg, but we only get this Easter egg. Uh, what should we take? Ah, uh, mixed herbs. Yeah, one of those should be fine. Uh, we only get these this um, cutscene if we actually went back to Richard in the beginning and gave Rebecca the serum. Right, let's go up. And also, uh, you have to get poisoned by Yawn for it to trigger as well. But if we're going to stand and fight him, it's not going to be an issue. Isn't there? Yes. There's a door up here that we can't get into yet. A helmet, yeah. We don't get the helmet key yet. Our helmet key is in another castle. Almost literally. <clears throat> Actually been playing quite a lot of Mario as well recently. Been playing a lot of Mario. Um oh I can't remember what one it's called. Uh, Mario 3D World, whatever it was. It was the Wii U one that they put on the Switch. 
been playing quite a bit of that at work and oof it's uh it's a bit good i like it yes sir i do like a bit of mario i'll be honest not like that you dirty pervert not here to discuss your rule 34 fantasies but i must admit uh in recent years i really have lost favor with sonic I was always the Sonic guy. Sonic's way better than Mario, you stupid kid. What do you know? Ah, uh, yeah. My, my, my. How my opinion over the last decade has changed. <clears throat> right. Let's go. Date with destiny. Look how high res and everything the keys look. The 3D models. Really done a nice job. Yeah, yeah. I know I've said it a few times, but I I am happy with this emulator. We just we just need more games, Sony. You know, just 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 a few. You know, maybe another couple of hundred. Right. Hello, you. Yes, yes, yes. Have at the beast. Oh, okay. Now, he's actually not too hard to kill uh, without getting bitten. Or I say he... Well, that's not true. He actually is kind of difficult. But it can definitely be done. But he only takes literally a handful of shotgun shells. He's going to fuck off now. That's it. Get out of here, you bum. And we're well and truly poisoned, so I think the only thing that's in this room is some shotgun shells. There might be a magazine somewhere. Maybe. No. No. Nope. Maybe not. I thought there was a magazine here, but I guess not. Anyway, let's go grab this piece of the puzzle. Lovely. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. So mental just having all these shotgun shells. Uh, I'm really enjoying this run. Chris! Hey, Becca. Am I poisoned? Damn it, give me serum. I'm sure the serum must be there. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, let's hope we didn't um, give it all to Richard, because that would be rather tragic now. So, to get this little scene here, uh, you have to, as I say, you have to go back and give Rebecca the serum for Richard, even though it doesn't work. Uh, which is interesting. Um, if you don't, and you still get poisoned, all that happens is Chris collapses and he wakes up um, in the infirmary. And I can't actually remember um, what's supposed to happen there. I can't remember if Barry saves him or Wesker saves him perhaps. And yeah, I know it sounds silly that Wesker saves him, but remember Wesker's collecting data here. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want everybody to die too quickly. Um. So yeah, that's kind of, yeah, might be Wesker. I, I might have to look that scene up, actually, on YouTube and have a little look. <clears throat> right. Now, luckily, we've cleared the place out because Rebecca only has um, 15 rounds in her Beretta. And I don't think her Beretta can actually score headshots. It might be able to, but... I actually, we'll have a look at it, see if it says anything. Or if it just says it's the custom Beretta. Let's have a look, shall we? Again, the model is really nice. A Beretta automatic custom edition. Yeah, it is a custom edition, so maybe. Maybe. Now, I don't know if you leave this too long, if um, Chris actually dies. I don't think so. All right, let's grab the bottle of serum. 
and get out. Can we actually look in the box? We can't. We don't get any um, information on the box either. You can't open this box or you don't have time for that now. Any BS like that. <clears throat> uh, I did also start playing last night uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2 again. Uh, I've been planning for ages with a friend of mine to go through the campaign co-op. Um, but there's a problem with that. You can't. So we played a little bit of raid mode together, which is fine. It's okay. But yeah, that's so bizarre. Resident Evil Revelations 2. On the PC, you can do couch co-op. Right? But you cannot do um, over the internet, uh, online co-op with your friends for the campaign. I am absolutely stunned about that. Because uh, I need to do Revelations 2 again. Uh, and I was looking forward to playing that co-op with a mate. But uh, I guess not. <laughs> Fuck if I know. It's just odd that you can do raid mode co-op online. But you can't do the campaign. But you can do the campaign couch co-op. What a bizarre, baffling decision that is. Absolutely baffling. But hey, that's that, I guess. You all right? Yeah. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Ah. Uh. My head is killing me. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot, but please be careful. You saved my life. I owe you one. Right, let's go. Thanks, Rebecca. Actually, uh, oh, I don't know if she's still going to be there. Uh, I'm pretty sure she says something else. Whoa. Jesus. Nope, she's gone. She's teleported away. Maybe the yawn has come back and claims her. Who knows? Let me mute my phone. My phone is muted, but apparently notifications aren't. Jesus Christ. Talk about blur my ears off. Uh, right, <clears throat> so, uh, we now have everything we need. We can actually leave this place. So, that is the first part of the mansion done. Wonderful. Um, oh, yeah. Let's just go down here. Now, sadly, when we come back, we're going to have hunters to deal with. Did I say sadly? I did, didn't I? I mean, I'll let the good times roll. The hunters are going to be fun. And of course, in the arranged mode, I believe there's more hunters. Uh, and unfortunately, Chris doesn't get the grenade launcher. And we all know that acid rounds are really powerful against living things. Uh, and that's not bull either. The acid rounds uh, are the way to go with hunters. And thinking about that, <clears throat> when we play as Jill, we're going to be getting loads of acid rounds. So... Okay. Uh <clears throat> oh, excuse me guys. Oh, I'll tell you what. Try not to get COVID. Um, it's yeah, it's not fun. Like I say, this is like ten days later. It's still uh kind of making me feel a little bit shitty. Uh now let's combine those two. Oh, right, COVID, yes, it's all made up anyway, isn't it? Is that the popular theory these days? It's all government ploy to control us. If the posters that I read plotted up around my uh, town are to be believed. <clears throat> government control. Sure. Pass me a tinfoil hat, please. Do I think it was blown out of proportion? <sighs> yeah. That's a difficult one to say, um, but 
definitely not a made-up bullshit. And definitely not a fun thing to get. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's go. We got, we got monkey pox to worry about now. Come on, Fidos. Let's go. Nice. Getting both of these. Now, the wonderful thing about this shotgun is, from what I can remember, it doesn't have any kind of range fall off, I don't think. It's literally a hit scan weapon. So, that's always cool. And this is one of my favorite things in Resident Evil, one of my favorite passages. When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and wind will blow towards the ground. Then the gate of new life will open. Love that. Okay, all right, well, let's start loading these up. Uh, we don't have to reuse these later or anything, unlike um, in the uh, remake, which was a cool little touch, actually. I did like that. Right. So, in here we have a crank that we need, but do not overlook this little, little naughty sausage hidden, hidden away from us like that. Naughty little hidden sausage. Yes, a uh, small key. Not a uh, mission critical item, but you know, it's a nice to have. Uh, if we could just get around here, this would be fantastic. Can we, there we go. We're gonna need that crank. <clears throat> I think there's a lot more stuff in the remake in here because you got the self-defense items which again I, you know I quite like that that was an interesting little addition gave it a bit of an extra dynamic now I think when we come back here there's more stuff in here anyway an old barrel yeah well you don't know what's in the barrel but it's a, it's an old one apparently Hey, look at all these bloody herbs. Jesus. Really? Okay. There's a lot of herbs. My God. Right. Let's deal with the dags. Haven't been counting my shells. Oof. Oof. Lucky. Right, let's go listen to the radio. This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Anybody answer me. This is Brad. Damn, it's broken. Well, that's unfortunate. Um guessing it got broken uh, when our friend got bitten by the danger noodle. Uh, right, so let's have a little look here, shall we? So we've got a lot of herbs. How many herbs? There's an, actually a map down here, isn't it? Uh, I guess we might as well grab that. A map of the garden. Will you take it? Yes, please. And listen to that ambience. Absolutely love that ambience. Uh, how many can we take? Only... Oh, not many. Alright, well, we'll take a green and we'll take a red and we combine them. And there's more to take as well. What I might do, uh, I might grab these off camera. Because it's going to take a few... going to take a few trips. So that would probably be a good idea. In fact, if we eat one of these herbs, because we are a little bit injured. And we've got the two blues there as well. Do we need the blues? Uh, yes. I can't say no to them. You know me. You guys know me. I cannot not pick them up. This is why I suck at speedrunning. 
I, I get anxiety and start sweating and panicking if I if I'm leaving items behind. Because you know we might need them one day, maybe, probably not. But you don't know. We might. Okay, looking good. <laughs> Chris's face, man. Look at that. He looks like a mutant. Um, the water is running down the opposite side. It is. Good God, Chris. Face only a mother could love indeed. Well, I guess we just need to remember on the way back here to um, have a couple of open slots. And we've got some danger noodles dropping down. That's fine. A couple of note ropes. I think we've got some, yeah, we've got more dags. Lots of dags. Okay, let's go. Hey, Fido's. Perfect. Good little kill zone here. Oh. Waste of a shell. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so that's the where we need the battery. We do not have a battery. That's an interesting little glitch on the wall there. Looks like there's an item there. Huh. Not sure if that's... Was that in the original game? It might have been. It might have been. <clears throat> okay, we've got some blue herbage. We've got some dags. One down. This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Come Fido. Oh, you sneaky little sausage. That's fine. Suck down that buckshot, you bastard. Yep, you didn't think I forgot about you, did you? There we go. You're a very thick skulled dog, I'll give you that. Okay, so, made it to the dormitories. I hope there's nothing horribly overgrown in here. We've got some more... Oh, they're just blue plants. Okay. Curious. Right, let's shift this statue. Again, the 3D model. It, yeah, it doesn't look bad, actually. It does not look bad at all. Oh, shit. Fuck that up, didn't I? You moron, Titan. You even know what you're doing, dick. <sighs> Try that again, shall we? With uh, percentage of less failure this time. I need to shift this way out. It's about that. Two full pushes usually does it. Come on, there we go. Ooh. Really? Maybe a bit more than that. Okay. Okay, come on. That should be sufficient. And a job well done, Chris. There we go. Yep, that'll work. Right, so let's have a little look in this save room, and I think we'll end this set here. <clears throat> that is not the save room. Didn't they reverse that in the remake? I'm pretty sure that was the save room. And the other side was the dormitory. Maybe. For some reason that's in my brain. Uh, we've got a first aid spray, which... And a magazine. Ugh, ugh. Really? I mean... Sure, I guess. Sure, we shall take it. Now, let's... Go and... 
Chuck you down, I suppose. Uh, we'll hold on to the small... Yeah, well, we don't need the crank. I know that much. Uh, and we shall combine the hanger ammo. Uh, yep. Wow. Look at this. 220 rounds. I don't know uh, if there's a max amount that you can have in one block. I think in Resident Evil 2, the max amount of handgun ammo you could have in one block was 250. Uh, whether that's the same in this game, I'm not actually sure. But I guess we shall find out together. Grab you. Not that we're ever going to need you. Ever. Actually, let's have a look at the model for that. Medical spray. Oof, yeah. Oh, that floating point. Oh, dear. I can heal any wound with this. Hmm. Well, only when plot deems it uh, necessary, Chris. Okay. So, where's our other F aid spray? Kind of interesting, actually, that we've only got. Um, ah, there it is. F aid spray. We've got so few F8 sprays so far. I don't think I've missed anything. Uh, but you know, maybe. Yeah, we've got a lot of health anyway, so that's the thing. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna save it here. Um, we'll just overwrite that one. Sure, why not? Don't want to put two saves down because it mm, redundancy sake, maybe. So, uh, when we come back, we're going to have a good old romp and a run through the dormitory uh, and shoot some zombies, find some fish, and um, kill a plant, apparently. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.